This is the Atlantic Wall. This is what the Germans wanted. Hitler said, fortify the whole coastline from the top of Scandinavia to the bottom of France, and that will keep the Allied out from invasion. In between these dunes, the Germans came here during the Second World War. They wanted this place, they wanted to keep it for themselves, and they wanted to keep everybody out. And the traces of their activity is still here. That's a Regelbau, a huge German bunker built here. All right, we have definitely a German Regelbau here. And I want to show you the feature that is on the top there first. So let me climb this bunker roof here. <laughs> Give me a second. Yeah, this first little feature shows you that the Germans made or uh, meant business. This is a protective measure, another machine gun position. And there will be a ring in the middle attached there at least it looks like it i think it is and then they can protect their close environment and that was the home away from home this bunker here and you can see that it wasn't far up to the other um, anti-aircraft gun position on top there so they could definitely come up and down the hillsides very very quickly and during those days it would be very very efficient because they will either put concrete into the trenches or wooden um, kind of piles or, or poles to make sure that it didn't slide in the, in the sand and things like that. But also other places there would be just pure sand trenches that they run through. But let's go inside this bunker and check it out. So this is a Regelbau 622. They come in almost endless variations, but Normally they would look like this, but they could have add-ons on both sides and different kind of features. This is up towards the machine gun turrets. They would climb up there actually. So there are some steps there that would climb up there and the sand could have been much, much lower during those years. And then you come here, hope it's not flooded. It's also very, very low profile. So. Many of them were actually bricked up after the war and they would uh, actually open them up during the later years. This is different, I think. This could be the one with two rooms. I think it is. Okay, so we are inside here. You have one entrance here, which seems to be... Yeah, you can see that's how it used to be. It was blocked up. Yeah. But how fortunate that someone opened the other one. You can see these blocks are actually being torn down. So that is cool. This one has two rooms and doesn't look too well, to be honest. And it, this room is flooded and that room is flooded, so we can't go in. But you can actually see a lot of the cables and stuff still on the wall, attachments there. Some of these has been recently dug out. Some of them are still actually buried. And in this area, there are more than 60 bunkers that are still buried. And who knows where they are or what's inside. So this is a two-room addition. 
bunker oven would be there. There's a shutter and you can see the profiles in the roof there, the iron profiles. They are very typical and I, I can't see bunk hangers in the roof, but there are some heavy duty hooks there. So I think there was actually bunks here as well. Let me see if there is signs of that here. Not so much. So they could have had some communication or munition storage in here. Wow. Oh, let's continue. This is absolutely amazing. We are going all the way up to the top there. And uh, this watchtower, it's, it's kind of post-war, but that is definitely something that the Germans could have used as well. It would have looked just the same. And I would imagine that that wouldn't last so long. So, but there is a feature up there that we're gonna see. And is it possible for us to go up to the tower there? If it is, I'm actually definitely going to bring you up there and you're going to see the view over the ocean and why the Germans were here and why they were so keen to be here. All right, so you don't think I'm a chicken. That's what it actually says when you're trying to go up the stairs. So I'm not a chicken, but I have to respect that. So right next to this tower, there's a VF-58C bunker. That is actually what we call a machine gun tobruk. And the machine gun tobruk is just that. It's a small turret where they place the machine gun and that could take out whatever came around the corner. And you can see the original trenches leading into the turret coming up here. That is where the German servicemen would run up, man their position, and then they would just be able to cover the whole area. And there's another bunker, down there is a bunker, up there is a bunker, there's a flag position, so it's all over the place. And this is the stretch of ocean they want to protect. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm hoping that we're gonna get a little bit more sun here today because it's been raining, 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 raining for absolutely constantly for days now. So this is the first day we've been able to really do this. So. Hope you enjoy it. Please give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. And you're helping us out tremendously if you watch the video to the full end. Did you know that you can become a World War II History Hunter team member and the artifacts here could be passed on to you? In this manner and fashion here, by creating beautiful World War II dioramas and displays, you can be the future keeper of something very, very special by the history and the history hunting that we share together. Check out the link in the video description. You can click that and you can become a patron team member if you want to. Different kind of perks with for your eyes only videos, travel vlogs, restoration projects, all of that good stuff. And if you want to know more, check out the supporter videos in the beginning of each month. But now let's continue our little adventure. Can you see it? Can you point it out, Eagle Eyes? It must be that one. Where? That one. That little hill? Yeah, maybe. It's just sand. Oh no, let's skate down. There's nothing there. That's just sand. Or is it? <laughs> I don't know. Let's have a look. Looks like just a pile of sand. Wow, there's a lot of sand here. Let me see. I'll go to the top. Ding, 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 ding. There's nothing here. What the hell? That's hands off. Let's go around this thing. Ah ha Yeah, look at that. You told me it was a bunker. I said no. And suddenly, boom, there's an opening. Oh my goodness, that's... No, you have to go there. Jump down. Three. Be careful. Boom. Oh my goodness. We'll never be able to get out from there. I think it's a 645. Oh wow, it's clean. But how will we get up from there? I won't be able to get in there. And I'm not going to let Eagle Eyes go in there. What on earth? Why? Why can't we get in there? Can you check if there's another entrance somewhere? Maybe in the front? I doubt it. Ah. No, I'm definitely not gonna get in there. It's gonna be difficult in, if it is. But okay, there's a 645 bunker down here. <laughs> See this area here? They actually cleaned it up. Why? Well, that's because there used to be some installed installments here. Barracks. And these bricks are the proof of that. That will not be here if it hadn't been for there were some structures here. But the authorities, they come in sometimes if they find something special and they clean it up. And you can see that there are just some tiny, tiny small pieces of metal here left. 
but there was once upon a time a barrack, 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 sorry, and this is where the soldier actually stayed as well. And they were heavily uh, camouflaged with tons and tons of webs and nets. So it would be very, very difficult to spot them in here. What you see here is a typical cut in the beach. This is what is normally here. And uh, the Germans knew that if there was a cut, there would be a chance that the Allied would plan to come up here. So around these cuts, you can be absolutely sure that the Germans would put the structures. And yeah, there's one already. So now we're gonna go all the way down to the beachhead and we're gonna see what's there. <laughs> I think you'll be amazed of what is actually down here, but used to be higher up in the dunes. Here is one of the features. It's a small, I think it could be a flak turret. I'm gonna check it out a little bit better from the other side, but is that crazy or what? Just laying here down on the beach. But of course it used to be higher up. It used to be up there in the dunes. It didn't come from there to here, but this area here was just as high as that area. And why am I using white gloves? I'm kind of handling cameras and phones and all this stuff, but I still have to try and get a little bit warm because it's so freaking cold here. Now it's not a flak position. I think it's actually a uh, stronghold to protect, maybe a machine gun bunker actually, to protect the flanks of the beach. You see this pattern that is made to look at, make it look like it's camouflage? They would take a rock and just dunk, 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 dunk onto it when they built it. So in that way, it would kind of blend it a little bit more. And camouflage canvas would be on top and all of that. I think it's some kind of bunker that was could take out whatever was down on the beach area sideways maybe. It's not possible to do anything or go inside because everything is filled up with sand. How crazy. But there is something absolutely stupid big behind us. You want to see it? Do you want to see something absolutely ridiculous? I guess this is something that you don't see every day. The FL 277, a huge, huge, huge German bunker stranded on the beach. This is what beach erosion is all about. And you can see there are actually others that we're gonna have a look at. This is a major, huge construction. And I'm hoping that we can come around it, maybe. I, I guess it's closed off. Most of these are bricked off. But look how it's kind of hanging in the air there. It's not before you're kind of next to them like this, then you fully understand how big these structures are. I'm, oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. So it's kind of been eroded underneath and then it just slides down and sinks to the ocean like this. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is absolutely wonderful to see. Have you ever been underneath a bunker? <laughs> if you haven't, let's have a look in underneath. I've never shown you anything like this. This is underneath a World War II bunker. <laughs> yeah, this is in, not in 100 years, in 10 years. This is halfway out in the ocean, actually. <laughs> I think we can go inside, Eagle Eyes. Holy cow. I think we can. Of course, the graffiti idiots has been here. This is crazy. We can actually go inside. There's the shutter. So you can take out people who are trying to get in this place. At least we can see some of it inside. This is big. This is massive. Could we really, really go inside there? Give me a second, I have to climb up here. So that's the level this bunker used to be at. Up there, I can actually just see a little touch of another one over there. And the sand erodes the bunker underneath and it just comes down. It doesn't move, it just goes down. You see here, one of the shutter rooms. I'm doubting there is any possibility that we can actually go inside. Well, we can actually go in a little bit inside here if you want to. <laughs> you can actually climb. Oh wow. I can see some markings here, you see? Let me show you this, let me show them this. There are some blue markings along the walls there. This 
is so cool. I'm very glad we can do this and hope you can help us out by subscribing, commenting, hitting the notification bell, all of that good stuff. That way we can go out and reach even more people. Let me see. Oh my goodness, this is closed off as well. This is probably, let me see. Wow. So there's the second room with a shutter full with sand. The ocean will really mess up this thing in the end and everything will just sink into the ocean and you won't be able to see anything. That is actually sealed off by sand, ventilation shafts. So if, let's go here in 10. Ah, bunker piece. You want to carry that? <laughs> want to want to that is a concrete piece of a German Atlantic wall bunker, that's for sure. All right, let's go out that way, my, my son. I love these drawings. You see that, the blue lines? But there are no markings. Yeah, there is actually a number there. Wow, there's actually a number there. And there's the steel shutter that will keep people out. And then they could open it and fire it well out that port. Cool. Wow. It's a true privilege to be able to do this. And it's an even greater privilege to be able to share it with all of you. So I'm very glad for that. Oh, wow. We can actually go inside here. We definitely should, the guys. Did you find another entrance? Oh my goodness. I have to crawl here. I have to be very... Are you coming in? Okay. Ugh. Holy cow. <laughs> oh my lord. A huge something there. This is out of this world. Oh, I see. Oh, did you find a way inside? Let me see. How did you get in there? Wow, just a very tiny small passage. It ends. Well, you can get the camera afterwards and go back there, okay? Yes. Okay, let me see. Is there something down there? Go in there where the wood is. It's not open, is it? No. Closed. <laughs> but now we're on the roof. Very rarely are we up on the roof. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. So there's a passage there. Do you want to take them through? Yes. All right, give me a second. Okay. Eagle Eye said he changed his mind. So I'm actually going to go through here. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you're sending me to a blind alley, I'm going to... Ah! How did you find this place? <laughs> cool. All right, so he climbed up here. I didn't even see that. Cool. All right, I'm going to meet you on the outside. Yeah, you guys, here's the scouter. This is left, what's left of a anti-aircraft gun position. There is that huge control center, whatever, of a bunker. Absolutely crazy big. At first I thought it could be a huge anti-aircraft gun position, but then I think it must be something more important. But, and, but that, and that, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna check that. But this is a anti-aircraft gun position. It's completely buried. And this is the faith of that huge thing as well. It's almost impossible to comprehend, but you can see it started, it's sinking and Within 10 years, that thing will actually be gone. It's another one just laying there, waiting for its faith to be buried down into the ocean, trying to figure out what this thing is. I think it's a Mannschaft bunker, maybe a regular, typical kind of Regelbau for the cruise. Let's go on this side, see if there are any openings or anything. Yeah, there's definitely an opening there. So that is probably. Oh, it's fully closed. And uh, there's another one of these, which I think could be a... Uh, could it be a machine gun bunker? Or just a Mannschaft bunker? I'm going to check it out. I'm not familiar with all of these, but uh, I'm going to do my best to see if I can get some information for you so you can see what they are. Something is just laying there on the side, completely buried. This is absolutely out of this world, to be honest. And there are hundreds, hundreds of these bunkers. There's a huge ventilation shaft. 
So I'm thinking this is actually quite a big one. But ooh, you can actually go right through. Oh, I think it is actually a gun position because I can see that hook there. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, I do think I know what this is. We have to go on the front side and I'll confirm it. Yeah, this is very typical for the area. This is actually a gun emplacement. There used to be a gun inside there. Let me show you what that looks like. And you can see also the fate of this one. It's tilted over and it's definitely, definitely going away. Wow, it's, in a way it's very sad actually. But then again, it's like nature is claiming back what's there. So <laughs> a bit, a bit sad, but nevertheless, absolutely amazing to see these structures here down at the ocean line. Hey, why did you stop the video? Well, that's because the video will be too long. There will be several episodes from this incredible German Atlantic world position. It is absolutely just spectacular and we just scratched the surface. So if you want to see more, there will be part three. We can bow 633, here we come. So I'm gonna go inside. Holy pancake. Look at the huge size of these rooms. There is a feature right there that tells me that we are on the right track. It is a massive, massive German World War II construction. For sure, I will put a link in the video description for that. In the meantime, I'm working with some really cool projects from the Atlantic Wall, and I think you're gonna enjoy a lot of that. And uh, I have to say a massive thank you to all of our Patreon and PayPal supporters. You are the guys and girls who makes this come true, so that we can go out and do what you see. And we really do a lot of research, travel, and find these locations. And we want you to learn and experience the same things as we do. Other than that, thank you for subscribing, commenting, hitting the uh, notification bell, all of that good stuff. It helps us to reach more people and helps us to go out and do more for you to enjoy. All right, I'll see you in part three. Stay safe, keep smiling, and remember, history is everywhere.